This is the morning weather update. This is for Friday, the 3rd of November. This is James Spann, Alabama's weather warming up over the weekend. We're expecting highs in the 70s tomorrow and Sunday, but we need rain badly. Chance of rain not looking good in the short term. What about mid-November? We'll check the new modeling here as we go. This is the upper air look across the country this morning. Actually, a little short wave coming through here, but with no moisture, no rain, no clouds. Temperatures are all over the board this morning. Uh, and again, this is a great example of why you just don't use one number when you forecast a low on a clear, calm night. Uh, because of variations with elevation, you'll see this type of range. Uh, for example, Birmingham in the city at 42, but away from the city, you've got 25 at Gadsden, 28 for Pelt City. And also the issue in play here is the urban heat island effect in the city where temperatures are warmer. And around the state, mostly 40s for the southern third, Montgomery sitting at 38. We're expecting highs in the 60s for North Alabama today, 70s for the southern counties of the state. Watch warning map, very quiet on this Friday morning. Obviously, no severe weather problems today, maybe some thunder around Miami and Key West. Tomorrow, a chance of some thunder again for the southern tip of Florida and parts of the northwest. And on day three, Sunday, again, the only places with a chance of thunderstorms, South Florida and the coasts of Washington State and Oregon. So what about rain for the next seven days? Not looking good. Uh, latest global guidance suggesting maybe a few showers about a week from today, maybe Thursday night or Friday of next week. But again, nothing meaningful. No drought buster. And we'll check the uh, longer-range guidance uh, here shortly. But the new drought monitor was released yesterday. And uh, as expected, it's not good. You can see we now have all of the Tennessee Valley in an extreme drought, as well as parts of southwest Alabama. And uh, all of the rest of the state in drought conditions, basically, it's, what, 99%, the only part of the state not in a drought, the eastern part of Lee County. And again, when the new monitor comes out next Thursday morning, all of the state will be in a drought. Here's a look at the uh, tropics. We have one little wave that is very disorganized in the Caribbean. Uh, the NHC folks giving this only a 20% chance of developing as it comes into Central America tonight. We'll produce some rain there. But again, nothing near the United States or the Gulf of Mexico. And the season will be ending at the end of this month. So, model fans, here we go. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid today at 4. And again, there's a little short wave coming through here, but when you've got an air mass just as dry as could be, you won't have any clouds or rain. Sunny weather again today, 60s for North Alabama, 70s for the southern counties of the state. Tomorrow is sunny day with highs in the 70s. Same thing on Sunday and Monday. Mid to upper 70s, Tuesday, same thing. Wednesday, some folks may be hitting low 80s. And then Thursday, you can see moisture increasing over the state. There might be a few showers over the northwestern counties late in the day and the chance of showers Thursday night. Again, not much rain. And this is a week from today, Friday the 10th, upper high over the Gulf, trough coming into the Pacific Coast. And again, evidence of a front coming in here, a surface front with a chance of widely scattered showers. But uh, you know the old line, you don't forecast rain in the middle of a drought. And uh, again, uh, we'll have to watch trends here, but just don't get your hopes up for much rain then. So let's keep going here. Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 12th. And again, with this big ridge is forming over the middle of the country, we have a northwest flow aloft here and again a dry air mass, but we are optimistic about mid-month. Uh, this is the European ensemble output, and that looks a whole lot better for rain here. And again, this is just a signal. We, we, we can't give you specifics, obviously, that far out, but uh, using ensemble data, you can read the signals, and you can see some of the members are actually showing rain amounts over five inches at mid-month, the mean, though, is what you're looking for, and that continues to increase. The mean is up there approaching two inches uh, between now and the 18th of November. So 
somewhere in that November 14th through the 18th time frame. We think there will be a good chance of a beneficial rain event. Remains to be seen if we'll have flooding or severe problems, but remember this is now the tornado season. And I say this a lot, oftentimes droughts end ugly with some type of flood or a severe weather event. We hope that's not the case this time. We'll just have to wait and see. Temperatures coming off the NBM, the National Blend of Models for Birmingham. You can see the progression. 67 today, then 70s for the weekend and through much of next week. And again, we'll be flirting with 80 on Wednesday. And then we'll see a new surge of cooler air that following weekend on the 11th and 12th with highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s. But we do not see any evidence of more freezing weather for the next 10 days. In fact, the latest 8 to 14 day guidance, this is for November 10th through the 16th. Uh, temperatures above average, if this verifies. Had some cool frost flowers yesterday morning. And again, it was amazingly cold. You know, we, we actually had a couple of spots in the upper teens yesterday. Uh, Gadsden hit 19. Asheville, our sky watcher there, hit 18. And a little bit of smoke on the water on that cold morning yesterday. So very busy today. Got weather programs at Northport Elementary School and then Northport Intermediate School, which is next door. That's all near uh, Tuscaloosa County High. They'll be speaking at the University of Alabama today. After that, at the Culver House School of Business. And then this evening, we will be at John Carroll High School for the final Friday Night Rivals game of the week. Last chance dance. Uh, it's Maplesville, the Red Devils at uh, John Carroll. I was down at Maplesville earlier this year. I'll be there live on ABC 3340 at 4, 5, and 6. Then on Blitz Game Day on Channel 68, that's our sister station at 630, the game itself on Channel 68 at 7 o'clock. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a marvelous weekend. Uh, tomorrow will be interesting for me. There's no book signing, by the way, tomorrow. Uh, I'll be directing the Million Dollar Band and the National Anthem at the University of Alabama LSU game, before the game. I have not been uh, in, in the high school band in a long time, so uh, that'll be interesting. But I'm honored that I was invited to do that. I'm going to get a chance to practice with them uh, tomorrow morning, and, of course, that'll be before the game. But anyway, looking forward to that. The weather's going to be great for those football games tomorrow. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and God bless.